name's Yuri, and this is the story of my first marriage. My husband was a co-worker of mine named Nakamatsu. After two years of dating, we married when we were both 27. Before marriage, I thought, if I could, I'd like to work for at least one to two more years. Nakamatsu, do you plan on working at the same place for a while too? Yeah, I think so. So I guess we don't need babies right away then. Yeah. That's what we discussed, so I thought he'd stay in the same job and try for a promotion. However, three months after our marriage... Hey, Yuri. I'm gonna quit my job. Huh? But you said you weren't gonna change jobs! I didn't say that. To be honest, I had a job that I've been wanting to do for a while now. A job you wanted to do? Yeah. You see, I want to become an elementary school teacher! Because they're elementary kids. Since they're not adults, I don't have to be so formal with them. Huh? Plus, if it's just simple elementary school subjects, I think even I could teach that. Huh? I think it's much easier than my job right now. I don't think it's that easy. But Akamatsu was determined. And after discussing together, we settled on a deal that he'd pay for his own tuition. I'll get the license in no time. Be patient for a few months until he passes the test, however. Huh? You're going to college for another four years? Yeah. It told me I have to, or else I can't get it. <laughs> oh no! Although he said he could get the license quickly, now he's saying he'll quit his job and focus on studies for the next four years. So, Yuri, I can't pay for my tuition for four years, so can you pay for it? You could just get another job, right? Or what? Are you saying you can't even support your husband? I thought married couples are supposed to help each other out. I don't remember marrying such a cold-hearted person. Uh, oh no, what a tyrant. But true, I did marry him because I like him. I guess a good wife will support her husband at times like these. And first, if I just need to work hard for four years... Hmm. Okay, I'll support you. Oh, are you sure? Thanks, Yuri. I'm so glad I married you. Um, and so that's how I was used by my husband. Please excuse me for leaving before everyone. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yuri, is she okay? Seems like she started a part-time job after work, but... It seems super exhausting. It's so admirable how she's working so hard for her husband's tuition. I hope she doesn't push herself too hard. With no more income from Akamatsu and having to earn extra for his tuition too. Welcome! After working on the weekends, I began a part-time job. It's just until Akamatsu becomes a teacher. I can do it! On the other hand, my husband... I'm home. <laughs> um... Akamatsu, what about your studies? Huh? Oh, I'm on my break. <laughs> um, and so then, can you at least do the laundry? Akamatsu said he wanted to focus on his studies so he wasn't going to do any chores or part-time jobs. If he tells his test, I'm gonna collapse. And four years later... Yuri! I passed my teaching license test! Really? Yeah, passing it on my first try? I must be a genius. Congratulations! Finally! Yeah, and so Akamatsu was able to get his teaching license. Being so lucky, he was able to get a job in elementary school pretty quickly too. Hello everyone, I'm Akamatsu, and starting today, I'll be your homeroom teacher. Nice to meet you. Huh? You're quitting your part-time job? Why? 
I just started working. We don't know how it'll turn out, so keep working for a bit longer. Huh? But, but I worked so hard these past four years, and I was thinking if we could have babies soon then. Huh? What are you talking about? You're the one who said you didn't want kids. And I only meant that for just one or two years after marrying. It's been four years, so I didn't want to wait much longer. <sighs> First of all, right now with my new job, my stress is at its peak. And it's actually more tiring than I expected. The kids won't listen and I have to work overtime. I'm so exhausted, and now you're saying you want kids? Can you try to read the situation here? Huh? Finally? What? Have you been thinking about me like that all along? So you're saying I was a burden, huh? Oh, I see. I get it. I'm so sorry for that. I... No! I didn't mean that! After that, we talked about having lots and quitting my part-time job again and again, but... My husband never said yes to either. Oh, shut up! Can you stop with this already? I'm tired. And on top of that, he began to get verbally abusive towards me. Mm, and then... Long time no see, Akamatsu. I used my secret weapon and brought over my boss from work who knew Akamatsu well. Akamatsu, Yuri has worked so hard for you for the past four years after you quit work. And yet, when she supported you so much, do you not have any appreciation for her? And you won't even consider that it's your turn to support her next? Yeah. But even still, I'm having a rough time too. You say she supported me, but it's not like she made a ton of money. Huh? And plus, she didn't even do her chores properly. And she'd only feed me frozen meals. Huh? Then what? Did you want me to leave halfway through my part-time job and cook dinner just for you and go back to work? Akamatsu, I want you to think, if you switched positions with Yuri, while Yuri went to college, you'd go to a part-time job after work, and after coming home, do all the chores for four years without a single day off. And even if she finally starts working, she says, work more. Work more. Eh? What do you think? Isn't that pretty difficult? Uh, yeah, I agree. Akamatsu, being married is a two-way street. It is not marriage when it's just built on one person's selfishness. So from now on, you support Yuri. If not, she'll collapse from overworking soon. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. She's much sturdier than me and has lots of stamina. Huh? What? Well, if we think about it, if I were in Yuri's shoes, it'd be hard. But with Yuri's stamina, I think she can handle it for another five years. And plus, it's normal for marriage to be accompanied with difficulties, and the wife should always support the husband. Oh, and plus, she's acting all weak, but she just wants to be lazy. She's actually full of energy, so you shouldn't be deceived by her. Akamatsu, you are... I get it. In other words, you're denying my four years of hard work and have no appreciation for me. And no intention of having kids with me. You just plan on making me work like a slave. Is that correct? Uh, no. Yeah, but... But if we're married, this should be normal. Then please return it. Huh? The tuition I worked so hard to earn for you. Please return all of it. And it seems that our values don't match, so I want a divorce. Got it. If so, I'll ask my lawyers if he has anyone he can introduce. Huh? What are you saying? Of course I won't divorce you! Huh? Uh, why does it have to be like that? As a last resort, I brought over his boss from his last job to talk to him in hopes of redoing your relationship. But none of his words reached his heart, and after listening to his overly selfish excuses, I finally realized... Wait up! But I'm just wasting my time trying to take care of this guy. Although Akamatsu tried to stop the divorce since I'd be inconvenient for him to lose his ATM and housekeeper. The boss, Mr. Tokusa, introduced us to a good lawyer and I was successfully able to get a divorce. 
As for the tuition... You! Asking for me to pay you back after all this! You're so greedy! I'll never return any money to you! I'm fine for being greedy. I have no money to give to a person who completely relied on my earnings without any appreciation and even refuses to have a child with me. I'm not your mother, so don't think I'm gonna be taking care of you for every little thing. Please sign this already. Who the hell will? Akamatsu! Stop with this nonsense already! You pay for everything! <laughs> what? The truth is... How's it show up? He lied to his parents that he had paid all of his tuition. I've been keeping quiet about this too, so it wasn't until now that both of our parents found out about this. Although my mother-in-law was quiet, my father-in-law had common sense, so luckily I was able to receive back $30,000. I left my previous rented apartment and began living with my parents. If this kind of thing ever happens to you again, please talk to us. Yes, you can rely on us anytime. Thank you, Mom and Dad. But I'm gonna do my best so there's no next time. After that, I quit my part-time job and continued working at the same company. And thanks to my mom's friend's connections, I was able to meet and marry Mr. Kuroki. I was able to have the children that I wished for so much too, and I'm now living a happy life. My past marriage was painful, but looking at our children, I don't regret it. Yes, or else I wouldn't have been able to meet you, Yuri. I'll never make you suffer, Yuri. Yes, me too. As for my ex-husband... Uh, because of that... After our divorce, he didn't get a contract renewal at the elementary school, and now he works directly as a part-timer at a prep school. And that's because... Don't you think it's absurd? I told her to continue working for a bit longer and she wanted a divorce! She's so greedy and she went overboard! If she's my wife, she should just shut up and earn me more money! Um... Um, the one who's not in their right mind is you. Huh? Apparently he was going around his workplace complaining about me. And some people were nice enough to contact me about it. If there's anything we can do to help you, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you very much. Actually, before telling him I wanted to divorce, I secretly voice recorded some of our conversations. And I handed over the recordings to that lady. In addition to complaining about me, he also insulted about children, female, and disabled people. Because of that, he was fired. You're fired! I'm glad he's no longer a teacher. Yes. I'm so glad that the female teacher contacted us. I've heard rumors that he's been going to matchmaking parties. But if he's going to make his wife suffer, he should stay single forever. ご視聴いただきありがとうございました。いくら体力があるからと言っても長年続けていれば精神的にも辛いことだとか思わないんでしょうか。自分に置き換えて考えてみたとき。想像しただけできついものだと理解できるならなおさらです。というか、小学校教員を目指す理由がひどすぎます。子供に勉強以外も教える立場であるというのに、そんな考え方をしている人に教鞭を取ってもらいたくないですよね。皆さんはどう感じ